Okay, just goofing off here, um, playing with the uh, the joints in the physics engine. Just got some basic ragdoll constraints here. Uh, I'm also playing with a better kind of uh, PID loop controller to drive the motor in the tank. You can kind of see how this works. I'm gonna hit it here. And you can actually see the tank actually begins like outputting more force on the motor as it uh, as it detects that it's not moving forward when I'm requesting it to move forward. You see the ragdoll constraints there kind of doing what they do. Um, let's back this thing up and see if I can. <laughs> yeah, cool. If I can turn it a little bit, I'll only get. There we go. And as I turn this, you can see I can like knock these things around using the, the barrel of the gun. <laughs> The uh, PID controller here for the tank is a little bit, it's not perfect, it's not bad, but um, it gets in situations where, you know, when the friction with the ground surface breaks, the behavior becomes sort of not what I wanted it to be. Um, you'll notice that that tank, the second tank, which is upside down, does correctly, you know, not drive when the, the treads aren't on the ground, which is cool. But. Uh, I think that what I need to do is replace the friction with, with the kind of a dampening that happens whether or not the tank is uh, in contact with the ground. I'm, I'm not really certain either that or maybe I can make the sliding friction the same as the uh, static friction. Of course, this is all an issue because I'm simulating this, this tank as kind of a solid object that's sliding around, right? Um, uh, I actually I have all these constraints working. I probably could actually rig up something more like a tread, but that's a pretty hard problem for a physics engine to solve.